Hi there my lovelies. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell by the title of the video, we're doing a little bit of a get ready with me, mainly because I want to play with this palette again and create a second eye look. I didn't use one of the shades, which is like the cool tone brown in here and I wanted to incorporate that in a look today. I am filming on Thanksgiving day and I want this video to go up tomorrow so you're kind of getting ready with me for Thanksgiving but yeah so uh let's just let's go ahead and get started. Okay my lovelies let's get started. I did already apply my base just to kind of save me some time because I don't have too much time. I film when the twins are napping. I don't know what I'm going to do when they stop napping. <laughs> I did go into the Lisa Eldridge in shade 15 and the Rose Ink in LX060. I already set my under eyes but I have not set my base yet. We're going to jump into a tiny bit of some cream products. This is the Makeup by Mario and it's the Sculpting Stick. I'm just going to add a tiny bit for a little bit of contouring. This is like more of a neutral shade on me really than anything. I did go in to the shade Light Medium for the Makeup by Mario. Now we're going to jump in to the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. This is also in the shade Light Medium and I'm using the BK Beauty 111 brush. It's one of the new ones from the Core Extension line. And as you could tell, this Charlotte Tilbury is a tiny bit more on the warm side than that Makeup by Mario. Okay, now that my cream products are down, I'm going to jump in to this Haley's Beauty Loose Powder. I didn't know that Haley's Beauty was sold at Macy's. Did you guys know that? Haley's Beauty is a pretty good brand. At least what I have tried from them is um, pretty nice. And there's a couple of other items I've been wanting to try. I know they recently launched a, um, I think it's a powder bronzer. And I've been intrigued. Now that it's sold at Macy's, or I don't even know how long it's been sold at Macy's, but... I might have to try it out and maybe purchase a couple of other products from their brand. Okay, my lovelies, now it's time to jump in to this beautiful eyeshadow palette. Um, I did enjoy it the last time I um, used it and I loved the eye look I created. I thought it was very, very pretty. I truly enjoyed it. Okay, we're going to start with the shade that I didn't use last time, this one right here, which is called Turbulence and it's a seamless matte formula. Oh yeah, by the way, for the powder, I used just this big fluffy brush that I purchased from Amazon a really long time ago. Okay, so Sonia G crease brush for this shade. And I just kind of wanted to, I think I'll do a halo eye today. Um, give a couple of thoughts of makeup reviewers. <laughs> And this is just a few little thoughts that crossed my mind from watching a couple of reviews of this new launch from Lisa Eldridge. So if you go and watch a review from a makeup enthusiast, I mean, um, that's all they are. It's just a makeup enthusiast. They love makeup. They love reviewing makeup. They love trying new makeup. No one ever claimed that they're professionals or have a degree in art. Kaki reviews makeup. She does have a degree in art. So she's like very well versed in color theory and all that. So, um, but like most of us, we're not experts. We never claimed that we were experts. And I feel like sometimes we're criticized as if we were. And if we say something that someone doesn't like, or if we say something that people think are incorrect, so they are so quick to correct us over on the comments. At the end of the day, it's just a review. At the end of the day, it's just an opinion of how they feel about the product. They never claimed to be experts. Therefore, um, so the review they're giving is just what they experienced with the product. And I feel like we forget that. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, just be mindful at what you say. A lot of YouTube creators really take into account a lot of comments that they read. And it's just like, sometimes it gets a little discouraging or a little tiring because you feel like you were never in, you're truly never going to keep everybody happy. But like, yeah, just something I noticed watching 
some reviews of this Lisa Eldridge launch. I'm no expert. I never claimed to be an expert. I'm just barely dipping my toes into this new brand, so I'm not super familiar with it. And um, I'm just trying out this palette. I'm playing around with it, letting you know what I experience, and that is pretty much it. Okay, and here is what this shade is looking like. So in the pan, to me, it looks like a cool toned kind of brown, but on my eyelid, I feel like it looks more neutral than anything. And that is why I called this shade here blue, because once you actually apply it onto my lid, it looked like a very soft, almost navy with a gray tone kind of blue. Okay, now we're going to jump in to that pretty gray tone shade. It looks gray on me on the pan. I feel like it looks more like a taupey kind of gray, but on my eyelid, I feel it pulls gray. This is a Sigma and Brianna Fox one. It's a fluffy brush and it's stained. It's not dirty. And I'm just going to use this. What's the name of the shade? French gray and it's a velvet formula. And I'm just going to use that on the edges of that pretty brown. Maybe turn it a tiny bit more. Cool tone, you know? Also, I did build the uh, brown up a tiny bit more with this little more small precision brush. It's the BK Beauty 207. With this one, I kind of just fluffed it out with the Sonia G brush, but where I really wanted the brown to be built up a tiny bit more darker, I did use this dense brush, and I do feel like it looks closer to what I'm actually seeing, at least depth-wise, in the pan. Okay, this is looking very very pretty. It's Thanksgiving, so a lot is going on. If you hear any background noise, my apologies. <laughs> okay, so I think, you know what? Let's deepen it up a tiny bit. Why don't, yeah. We're going to jump in to the, what is it? Lamp Black, which is a seamless matte. And this is a BK Beauty 204. It's like a nice, flat, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to add this right here in the outer corner. I barely dipped my brush into it. This is such a pigmented black. It's crazy. In a good way, though. I guess I'm creating a little wing. <laughs> that was not my intention. But it's so pretty. I love this black. I love... I have never ever in my life said that about a black because I'm... I'm kind of a little intimidated by a black shade but this one I absolutely love I love it the formula is oh, perfection okie dokie beautiful 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 I did go in to some NYX glitter glue does this palette need glitter glue no it doesn't I mainly use it to prevent fallout um but this palette doesn't need it if I'm using glitter glue does it mean that the shimmers in this palette are absolutely horrible no that's not what it means <laughs> I've just created the habit to always use glitter glue and I just always use glitter glue. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to jump into this shade right here, Moon Swirl, which is a metallic shade. And I'm going to add that right in the middle, but very lightly. I'm not going to pack it too much. Just kind of patting it, but softening it up a tiny bit. Okay, I do want to use this liquid um, eyeshadow from her and Emily um, just a tiny bit because I don't want to alter this look too, too much. So I'm putting it on the back of my hand and I'm actually going to use my finger and I'm just going to rub it and put this on top just to see if I get a tiny bit more sparkle, which I did. <laughs> I feel like it's way more sparkly. Remember I said that this shade reminds me of the one that I put right in the middle, just a tiny bit more sparkly. Oh yeah, look at the difference between this eye and this eye. Definite more sparkle. She did a really good job with this formula. And it dries down so nicely and it blends out very beautifully. Just too. real quick, I guess the main point of my little rant is that makeup is not that serious. It shouldn't be that serious. Makeup is fun, at least... When I think of makeup, I think of fun. It's not, it's not that serious, my lovelies. Okay, now with this little detail brush from Sonia G, I am going to jump in to Supernova, which is the luminous shade. Um, let's see if it works without any spray. 
and that's gonna go right in see I have fallout from this shade okay yeah I think it's working fairly decently with the brush it's so pretty okay let me jump off camera real quick and put on mascara and all that and we'll be back to finish off the face okay so I went ahead and put some mascara on I haven't put liner yet and no mascara on the bottom lashes yet I am going to jump in to velvet petal which is one of the velvet matte lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge and I'm going to use this BK Beauty 112 brush and I'm going to use this as blush I've seen her use her lipsticks as blush and it always looks so pretty and it's been working great okay that's what it looks like since it's like the velvet matte formula it doesn't lift my powder up and I'm going to jump into my Gucci bronzer this is in shade 3 I'm going to add some powder bronzer to this face Okay, I did use the Morphe and Jaclyn JH13 for the bronzer. And I'm going to jump into the V Face Palette and I'm going to use the rosy, yeah, this one right here, the rosy shade. This is just so that my makeup lasts. It's 12 midday, so I want to make sure this lasts until dinner. Okay, this is what that's looking like. I did use the highlight from the Vive palette. I kind of wanted to go in to this Lime Crime Lipstick in Pumpkin. It's a liquid lip because it's a very beautiful um, pumpkin orange, dark pumpkin orange. But I don't think... Um, let's see. Am I actually... I look okay. No, it doesn't go. Right? I don't think it goes all that great. No. Okay, let's go a different route. This is the Wayne Goss um, Medium Nude Pencil. Hopefully, it's... I feel like it's pretty neutral. It almost reminds me of a conic nude. So hopefully, it goes okay. It will. Yeah, it's a, it's more of a neutral, almost cool tone kind of nude, I feel like. It doesn't lean too warm, I don't feel like. My lips look like that because I wiped the lip, lipstick off. And I'm actually going to jump into Velvet Petal. Like I said, it's a pretty pinky type of shade. Gosh, her formula is so soft. It almost feels like... Have you ever um, worked with liquid chalk? So in CrossFit, in like gymnastics, they use the chalk. There's this liquid chalk that they sell and it's just so soft. And that's what this reminds me of. Okay, I think it's a pretty cool tone kind of pink and I think it looks okay with the eye look. Her Velvet Matte Formula is so pretty. I am going to top it off just a tiny bit with the Kitten Mischief, and it's like that um, lip balmy kind of texture. Oh yeah, I feel this lip looks perfect with this eye look. Okay, and here is the finished look. I look number two with the new Lisa Eldridge Vega palette. I feel like this is smoky, but not too smoky. I mean, you can definitely go really smoky. You just gotta use more of the black in here or like the darker tones, but I feel like this is beautiful. And I do like how the lips look with the eye look. I definitely think that lip liner is what really helped tie it in. And I still stand by what I've said about the formulas in here. Beautiful. If you enjoy the Super Nudes formula from Charlotte Tilbury, you would definitely enjoy these mattes. The Velvet 
On the eye, I can't tell too much of a difference, but in the pan, you can see, you can definitely see how the mattes are just a tiny bit more creamy in texture than the velvet shade, but they work beautifully, almost identical, I would say. I, just me personally, I don't see too much of a difference. Okay, well, that is it. Thank you so much for joining me and getting ready. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed I look number two with the Lisa Eldridge Vega palette in case you picked it up. I'm debating picking up another one. Um, probably, if I do, it'll be Myth, the one with that pretty purple shade. Yeah. Okay, well that's it. That concludes this video. Okay, my lovelies, I do remember saying that I was going to do a giveaway the whole week of Thanksgiving and I totally forgot. <laughs> Um, the plan was to do a giveaway Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of like $25 each day to either Sephora or Ulta, but I totally forgot. So instead, we're just going to do a giveaway for this video, which is going up on Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, just to show you guys that I'm so appreciative of all of you, the likes, the comments, everything. Honestly, thank you so much. So the giveaway will be a $50 gift card to either Sephora or Ulta, just depends on your preference. And this is going to be uh, worldwide. So if you have a Sephora available to you, great. I'll send you, you know, the gift card. Since it's through email, it should be okay to do it worldwide. It doesn't matter where you're at, I think. Yeah. I mean, and you can even shop online, right? Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be worldwide $50 gift card giveaway to either Ulta or Sephora. You can let me know as soon as I pick the winner. Winner will be picked a week from the day that this video goes up. All you have to do is make sure to like this video. Make sure you are subscribed because I am going to check and go ahead and list down below what your favorite dish on Thanksgiving is. I would have to say mine is the mashed potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> I love potato anyway. I uh, don't discriminate. If it's potato, I love it. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. And that is the reason why I'm doing this giveaway. Okay, my lovelies, with that being said, thank you so much for being here. Like I've said so many times and I won't get tired of saying it. I appreciate all of you. You all have no idea. So please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also make sure to hit the subscribe button. Okay, I will see you all on my next video. Bye.